Reality.tv. We good to go? We good to go. All right. Get yapping. Here we are, Colony Colony. Uh, I think we're at three one. Is that right? Or is it three nil? Three nothing. Three nothing for Plunder and Black. 
the two Sydney clubs that nobody really wanted to be playing in the final. Here we have them in the final. How's that beer, Steph? Beer is the beer is tasty and delicious. Good choice with the crown. It's a uh, wonderful, wonderful way to wash down a tournament. It's a cupcake picking up the disc. Jogs it to the line. Having a look. Mark's tied on. Backhand break it to Mark Evans. Picks it up on the outside. Looks for the hug. Fakes it. Puts the IO back end. All the way to the other end. Out the other side. Bit of field position. Uh, must be a call on it because nobody's moving. All right, here we go. Mark Evans with the disc. Having a look. After he got the disc back after his foul. Moves it on to 33, far side, puts a flick up right away, foot on it, Julio with the foot block. The Colombian import doing his thing. Pillage with the disc, centers it, flick. The wind is really picking up here, making it ha making uh, the throws have to be spot on. Kenny Shepard with the disc, has a look. Flicks it forward, calling the play. Pick was after the throw then. Here we go, 23 checks the disc in, has a look with forehand side, forcing short side, gets it. Man in the corner, keeps his toe in. Bing, 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 that's a goal. Pillage strikes back. Here we go, Julio on the pull. Big up win, pull gets a bit of a roll. Antonopoulos picks it up. Looking a little grizzly today, hasn't a shave in a couple hours probably. Puts the backhand break over top, gets a 29, who turns and hucks. Big OI backhand, number five. He had a receiver and almost on the bounce, but turnover. Pillage with another chance. Only other matchup at this tournament, is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay, so, so. And right now they're down 3-1. And they're down. Let's see if they've got the mongrel that they've obviously been proving game in, game out to get it done. A little hawk by uh, Mr. Shepard over there. Gets it most of the way down the field. Potts here, Jonathan Potts, he's, he's not afraid to throw a hawk. And I've just realized uh, that's Joel Pillar with the disc from Karma a long time. I didn't realize, I just, uh, first time I've seen him playing with Colony now in the new new colours from uh, Adelaide. Joel isn't the only Adelaide import on uh, this colony club. Uh, Alex Deslanders. I see, so we got a few ex-South uh, ex Australians in here. But Julio, uh, for a handle, quick moving type, he's, he certainly can get up and take stuff down too. He's a, he's a big unit. Gets his swing out. Kenny Shepard has this, puts the forehand up. Oh, a drop, dead, stone cold drop in the middle of the field there. Picked up, looking to hug. Potsy wants it out, fakes hard for it, but doesn't take it. Having a look still. Puts a backhand break out. Far side, 19 has a look with that left forehand. Puts the flick out, up the line. Nick Dowell with the disc. Looking to center, hoping to center. Puts a floaty backhand up. Defense is there, but trusts his man, Kalen, to get the get the goal, that's say 4-1 for Plunder. Mark Evans warming up that pulling shoulder. Looks like he's got a bit of a pull grab. <laughs> Here we go. Nice dance, how does the pull come off? Looks good, staying in. Is it, is it? Maybe not. Brick cold. He has a nice trot to the center and it's tapped in, here we go. Watch his pivot foot. We'll watch that, will we? Does it tend to slide, is that what we're saying? It tends to move a mile, mate. There, oh, big hammer in that wind. You saw the wind get a hold of it, what a catch! Unbelievable goal. The wind grabbed that hammer and moved it a bit, but the receiver adjusted beautifully for a layout, layout catch and catching above the Frisbee coming down on it. What a grab. Here we go, hands up, ready for the pull. Julio puts up, nice flat backhand. No float to it, but gets down the field, which is tough in this wind. 
Ooh, disc was stomped, <laughs> and we want a replacement disc. <laughs> An angry <laughs> stomp. <laughs> That was a uh, vivacious stopping of the roll. Open final, the big game, Colony Colony. An exceptional club uh, to be able to split two teams, XY, so to speak, even strength, and get them both into a national final. Potsy gets the disc, has a look, puts that hammer in. Potsy's an excellent thrower and has chosen a wonderful receiver. Spielman has pulled down a few, gets it over to 89, has a look. Puts it to Nick Dow. Dow gets it back to Tiger. I believe 89, moves it on to 29. Joel Pillar to Antonopoulos to Ponzi in the middle of the field, 10 meters out, not even. Pops it back to Antonopoulos. Having a look, keeps it moving. No oh, stone cold drop. Nick Dow, unfortunate. Uh, and Pillage go off running the other way, but no throw out right away. Lidicate moves it to Tex. Tex, now he puts it up. He's got a man coming back, he does get it. 18 moves it center to Tim G, about 15 meters out, 20 meters out. F looks his flick, looks his backhand, Potsy gets a paw on it and wants his man going the other way and he puts it up to Joel Pillar, a big backhand. It's a good option, oh, but well read by Ken Shepard. Get in front and get the D. Just had a delivery here at the booth. Everything's happy times now. Thanks, AB. Abraham Stone, excellent up and coming junior from the Byron Bay region. It's only because he gave you beers, too. <laughs> oh, the put's on, but the pick's called. That's not a goal. Nice big throw would look, would look good on camera right about now. 18 has a look, fakes the backhand, wants it, force, finally gets the mark on. Looks for the flick, hands are there, now engaging the dump, gets it to Tim G, Antonopoulos on the mark, looks for the flick, gets out the flick, text with the disc, having a look, wants that flick side, they're, they're forcing it to that, uh, this, the way the wind's blowing, Ken Shepard with the disc, fake the hammer, puts the, ooh, flick up into a tiny bit of room, and then the continuation flick to the end zone, just not quite there after a lot of hard work. Here we go, tapped into play. Pillage trapping them as best they can on that sideline. They don't want to move it to let them have it on the uh, wind friendly side. This is a hucking position now for Potsy. Everything's a hucking position for Potsy. Yeah, you'd think that's the way it goes with the years he's got under his belt. Tiger with the disc gets it back to Potsy. Has a look, fakes the hammer, Pillar right there, dumps it off, nice quick, they're just playing a little cat and mouse in the middle there. Over to Tiger, big swing to Antonopoulos. Gets it up to Cal Callan, back to Antonopoulos. He has a look, moves, centers it over to Pillar on this side of the field. Has a look, puts a big forehand up, it did get over the defense, but not, not low enough for his man. Just a bit away, good option I like. The offense uh, can tend to to give up on the short game and uh, and have a, a stab at those wind-friendly hucks that are going from close side to far side of the field the way the wind's blowing here. Three's got the disc, puts a flick up. Julio gets it, two hands, puts a flick up right away. Nice quick release. Ken Shepard stays in bounds, but it was just a bit out of bounds there. Joel Pillar had a chance to get position on him. No call on the play. Here comes Steve Antonopoulos. Looking hard, puts a big one across Julio there, but Ponzi gets a great throw by Antonopoulos late in the stall count. Gets it to Tiger, puts it over to Antonopoulos. He's having a look, moves it up to Joel Pillar, moves it up, 19 in the middle, moves it up again, moving quick, Dowell has the disc. Look in the end zone, he does the smart move and dumps it to Tiger, gets it to Potsy, Potsy on this side, fakes the backhand, opens up some space, dump to Tiger. Having a look, flicks it right across to Antonopoulos. Antonopoulos having a look. Hey Steph. Yes. Um, I was mistaken, number 13 out there in the green hat, that is Alex Deslanders, and uh, Number 19 or 13? 
I don't know. I think he's it's 19 green in the green hat. De that's Alex Deslandes, is it? Yeah. I've played with him in Byron Bay, in fact. He was there for a, uh, a beach tournament weekend, and he was there for a part of a season, in fact. So him uh, and Joel were on the same team. I thought uh, they were on opposite teams. So they've got a bit of a uh, karma connection, maybe. They have a lot of chemistry, Steph. Joel Pillar, the man of, of note in, with the disc, gets it to Antonopoulos, back to Joel Pillar. Having a look, pa very patient uh, attack here. Antonopoulos weaves one through the middle, Ponte's got the disc in the corner on the goal line, wants to get it out, a lot of pressure now, that stall count's gonna be mounting. But, oh, and he throws it into Pete Lidicott coming across the lane. You'd see that was always going to happen there. It didn't look, uh, yeah, it was getting very congested around the disc. Looked like difficult options. It looked like more and more old men just started to hover. <laughs> ah, disc is up. Maybe a hand on the disc. Foul, maybe a hand on the man. Picking up the disc. Just taking their sweet time now. They really worked it well up the field last possession and weren't able to cash in. Uh, got into that last five meters and Pillage really clamped up. P Potsy pops it over top, over to Pillar from Tiger, over to Antonopoulos. Pops it to Pillar, over to Jonathan Potts. Potsy puts up a wound up hammer that looks like an absolute beauty. Oh, try greatest attempt from here. It looked like he was inside the cone. So a greatest attempt happened. And they weren't allowed to continue on right away, but now it's game on. Number 18 with the disc, moves it over to Ken Shepard, doesn't look at the flick, doesn't get the flick up right away. The mark looks straight up, now it's back to away. Gets a, gets a break mark to Julio in the middle. Julio having a look. He's got one man going deep and he takes that man. It's a lot of float on there, Antonopoulos in the way. Oh, great read by number three for the catch. That's David Maple. David Maple with a beautiful catch. And he puts it perfectly in the corner. Sorry, uh, correction, it's uh, David Roundtree and his nickname is Maple. Uh, David Roundtree, nicknamed Maple. I wonder if it uh, has anything to do with the lovely syrup products from Canada. Maybe, maybe he's got it, some on his hands, some sticky fingers. Colony, Colony. Colony wins, I'll tell you that right now. We already know the outcome. Mark Evans with the disc to Antonopoulos. Zone, we see the first sniffs of zone maybe in this game. Puts a scoop up in the wind, no problem there for Tiger. Flipped back over to Mark Evans, fakes the big backhand, gets it centered to Antonopoulos, flicks it back over to Tiger. Right away to Joel Pillar and gets the, the gainer to Alec. He backhands it over to Antonopoulos, to Mark Evans, the whole length of the field. One, from one side to the other, Evans having a look, gives the easy pop to Pillar, almost bobbles it, but manages on the uh, second effort there. Gives it over to Tiger, Antonopoulos moving for him, gets up line. Zone sets in a bit, Tiger finds some space, moves it to a, a meter of the line, gets the goal. Number seven there, who's, who's that with the goal? X the disc. He does have the disc. I think that's Gavin Moore. Gavin Moore with the goal. Plunder takes the uh, break back. Evans sets the ball. Black. Black, plunder, pillage, blue. But yes, black and blue works just fine for me nine times out of ten. Here we go. Offense gets started. Peter Gardner with. You know what, Steph? What's zone that, Dan? Boring, man. Zone is boring, but efficient in the wind when you got fellas like Cupcake laying out. Putting it down, putting the body down in front of the disc. And like I said, effective this zone. It is boring, but sometimes a bit of a boring game might be an efficient winning game. Oh, but the, f oh, Cupcake reads it perfectly. 
after the block, just waits for it and gets to be a bit of a garbage collector there. <laughs> but read it well, stayed patient, and stuck to his spot and got the goal. How long has Pete Gardner been playing? Wasn't he ever told? Catch your days, man. <laughs> Always easier said than done. This one goes. There we go. This one looks better. The OI he chooses, which is most certainly in. Gets away from Gardner a bit there on the bounce. Having a look. Peter Gardner. Bit of a zone applied, puts it deep early. We've got a contest. Oh, what read perfectly by 13, but just can't hang on. That's uh, Glover. Mr. Glover. Just missed on the outstretched uh, attempt. So Cupcake's picking it up. Cupcake picks it up, puts it to Evans, has a look. Puts it back to Cupcake, picks it up at the shoelaces there, has a look for the forehand. Surveying some options, puts up a big flick. It's it's Blady and well read by Peter Gardner. He picks it out of the air and then a lazy turnover by Pillage. 15 pushes it on, 21 on the far side. Joe, Joe Long, I believe, having a look. Mark's on tight now, puts the flick up to Mark Evans on that far side still. Uh, something on the on the field there must be in a pick. That was the uh, I'm beat. Uh, let's call something. Yeah. Hey, I, I shouldn't. I couldn't possibly be this far behind my player unless something happened. Mark Evans swings it. Oh, a bit of wind under it. D has a chance, but well read. 15. Oh, moves it to Cupcake. Goes through his arms, Cupcake's man goes deep, but the throw wasn't able to get out to the deep man. Still, they move it up the field in the center. Take advantage of some of that space. Cupcake on the mark now. Peter Gardner throws over top. Kenny Shepard with the disc. Fakes that flick, wants that flick. Tries the backhand, knocks his mark down, throws it into traffic, and a turnover. Layout bid. Oh, here comes another deep one. It's a uh, Huck and Hope, Huck and Zone. Timeout called by Cupcake. Very sensible timeout. That's not a word you normally hear associated with Cupcake's name. It's, it's Cupcake and Sensible. I don't know how they associate, but he did well that time. Plunder with the disc here. Which black, black with the disc. And really, uh, I said a sensible timeout by Cupcake and it was indeed. If they can cash in on this and go up 7-3, uh, uh, that double break, that's a big buffer. Uh, right there, it it's could there. be a game changing point, something like this, or, or, or just a game takeover point. If, P if Pillage, you know, can manage to keep this out and fight for one after the other, this game's still within reach, but uh, this, 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 is a, this point could be key. Put, puts it up to Evans and he pulls it down, no problem. Cupcake gets to be the glory man there, calls the timeout, throws the beauty OI flick, and his man Evans uh, looks good with him, pulling down a nice one in the end zone. Gavin's hand up for the pull. Cupcake's staying on, he's hot. We were just saying, Cupcake, a uh, bit of a suitcase. He's played just about everywhere, it seems. Uh, it's in Perth and South Australia, mixed teams, open teams. Uh, it seems to jump from town to town. Everybody obviously very happy to have him. We, uh, we had the pleasure of having him up in the Gold Coast uh, four years ago, three years ago. Steph, uh, Cupcake's one of those players that you love to have on your team, you hate to play against. Absolutely, absolutely. He's, uh, he's a fiery young guy, he, he works hard, uh, but he, when he gets excited, it, uh, it, it gets his own team going, but it stirs the, his opponents often too. Oh, big flick put up. Oh, gets past Gav Moore, the catch. Pillage with a chance now, chills it out, drops it to Tex. Tex backhands it to Kenny Shepard. Back to Tex, working it on that side, far side there. Tex has a look, crash with with Ken Shepard in the middle there, finally gets him, sorry, that's Pete Gardner. Pete puts the OI flick, oh, right into the hands of the defense. Mark Evans puts the flick up, he's got Cupcake. 
Oh, well read, but off the back of Tim G, defended it exceptionally without being able to see the disc. <laughs> but, you know, it, uh, it it is an effective strategy at any level, depending on the weather's con depending. What a big layout in the middle there. I think Jimmy Todd Hill, number 22, gets up. Oh, but the throw gets away from Cupcake, and he tries to lay out to recover, but can't. Tim G gone and going the other way. Kenny Shepard picks up the disc. Pro foul there by Gav Moore. So Pro foul, let's slow this shit down. Sorry for swearing, let's slow this stuff down. Kenny Shepard gets it through the middle of the Tex. Tex is on the move. Glover with the disc, moves it to back to Gardner, gets it upfield. Tim G with the disc, pops it through the middle to Peter Gardner. The zone is moving with them, but they're moving it effect effectively right now. Finds a space for Tex just behind the cup there, pops it forward to, to Pete Gardner, has a look with the backhand. Puts it back here to Tex, wise moves, gets the swing. Tim G with the disc, pops it in the corner for a goal. And that keeps it as a game, by my opinion. The 7-4 the is uh, keeps it in striking range for Pillage, and we've got a chance for this game to get interesting. In the commentary box, yeah, oh. We've got Tom McGacky. Oh, uh, geez, the Gack up there with uh, Jim John. Kirby. Did I see? Did I hear John Greenfield up there as well? John Greenfield is up there, yeah. Indeed he is. How are we doing up in the box, fellas? In the Wombats, uh, terrible to be an excellent team. Hopefully, and, and I do believe that they are on their way to uh, an excellent campaign in Japan, but weren't able to get some of the wins they would have liked here at this one. Uh, I might have thought... Uh, I might have thought we'd see him here in the final uh, a few weeks ago at BCI. They looked good then. But here we go. Thank heavens, man. Mate, some man, finally. We got some man. Yeah. Antonopoulos wants to... I was going to say he wanted to, but he didn't. Joel Pillar gets it out to Callan. Has a look, that lefty. Centers it to Mark Evans. Mark Evans having a look. Takes the backhand. Pick, Pick called on the field. Bergs flexes his mu muscles again. <laughs> Give me that double bicep. So Mark Evans disc. Chance to take half. Here we go. Oh, another call. Disagreement with the call. Oh, he's gonna walk a circle out here, get some steam out. And circle almost completed. Here we go, there we go. 360 degrees. Uh, maybe not turning like that, walking the circumference. Walking away is often a good way of maintaining spirits. It, it, it is indeed, it keeps your mouth closed. Yeah, exactly, removing yourself from the, the situation <laughs> sometimes helps a lot. <laughs> Alec wants the disc. Mark Evans, disc is tapped in, puts the flick up to Joel Pillar. Oh, it's stall count. No contest. That was a mighty quick stall. If that came in on nine. Nine, yeah, we, we can time that one later. Uh, Kenny Shepard fakes the flick, puts the scoop over top. Beautiful looking throw to Tex. And the, and the goal to Julio in the corner moves it on quickly with a backhand. And we've got a game on our hands. 5 7 to break away. Blunder had the game in control. Gave two away to Pillage. Want to take half badly, but uh, it's good to see a little fight back in Pillage as Julio puts a disc up. Bounces in the corner. Tiger gets it on to Antonopoulos. Looks to keep it moving, but reevaluates. Gets it out to Joel Pillar. Great throw by Antonopoulos. Pillar fakes the big with the backhand. And puts the big with the backhand after a second. On. Oh, Julio puts the body on the line. Lays out, gets the head involved. And a beautiful D on the disc. I think you'll like to send that one home to Columbia. Yes. Hey guys, look what I did in Australia. That's it. And on YouTube.
Normally, he's very extravagant with his throws. He, he did have an interesting, interesting wardrobe choice last night. Uh, if you're at the party, you would know. I don't know if you wore the whole night, but uh, for, for a portion, he was looking rather exceptional, we'll say. There goes the flick. Doesn't stay in. Pops out of bounds about uh, 20 meters up from the pillage goal line. Sorry, plunder rather. Of course, what stays happens at the party stays at the That's party. That's exactly right. It was awesome. That's all that needs to be known. And Slamtown dominated. That that can be known as well. Tiger with the disc, middle of the field. Puts a flick out. Callan has the disc. Puts a big backhand up. Going down the other way. He's got Jonathan Pond. Oh, it, it kind of bit of wind. It didn't really got away there at the end. Here we go. Kenny Shepard. Potsy on the mark. Disc is in. Centers it back to Kenny Shepard on the far side. Fakes the big flick. Puts it to Julio. Almost picked off by Alec Deslands. Julio. Deslandes, thank you. Uh, moves it on to Ken Shepard with the dump. Effective plunder zone here, really making him work in that corner, sticking him in that corner, puts the scoop over top to Tex. Tex upfield, but Gav Moore able to slide in front of uh, Ant Dowell, I believe. And, uh, oh, Joel also got a hand on it by the looks of it. Oh, and throws the goal. Joel Pillar to Gav Moore. Plunder takes half and takes a bit of their momentum back. Stefan's on his way back. He scored himself some barbecue. Mark Evans pulling outside in. This one of inbounds. Rolls out after it gets booted by Kenny Shepard. Ken Shepard with the disc in. Zone set. Popping a little stuff. Back to Ken Shepard. Stuff through the middle there. Looks for the hammer over top. Doesn't have it. Fakes the flick. Looking to dump again. Something called there. Foul, says Ruben. Uncontested. Uncontested foul. Thank you, Ruben Bird. Looks for that flick again. Puts the backhand across. Number 11. Moves it to 23 on the far side. Flicks it back center. Moves it on to Kenny Shepard again. Having a look at that zone, holding strong. Gus Keenan gets it backhand to the center. Moves it up to Tex and across again. Getting a few meters now, 14. Puts a big one on. Oh, just over past Julio's outstretched hands. Jimmy Todd Hill with the disc now for Plunder. Gives it to Cupcake and Cupcake sticks it immediately. We've got Gav Moore under, we've got Peter Gardner, but I think that's gonna be out of bounds. Oh, if anyone caught it and no one did. Bit of swill there from Cupcake. Bit of swill. There comes a big sharp blade. Does that stay in bounds, Landon? No, I think it went out on the hook. Win, oh. That throw maybe not winning, but hot pursuit, but it went right from side to side at the other end. Ken Shepard slowly walking to the spot, Colony Plunder setting up their zone. Oh, squeaks one through to Glover. Puts it, oh, and another layer in the middle. Cav Moore goes through Julio, it must be, because there's a foul in the play. Ruben confirms. Emily, are you enjoy, enjoying the final thus far? Yeah, I am actually, and I'm looking forward to the women's this afternoon. We are too. We think it's going to be the match to watch. This is just boring. Uh, this is just a, a little club game. It is pretty ultimate. Ken Shepard squeaks it through to Julio. Just threads the needle. Pillage hanging around. Oh, 
Not much, a pull, a possession or two. And uh, Pillage has the disc again. Ant Dow with it, claps down on one, throws it away, popped up, and taken care of by Tiger after he macked it. Flicks it over to Ponty, oh, bobbles it at the shoulders. Gets the mark on right away. Pillage moving it the other way, 32 has a look. Wants his flick, takes the backhand, foul called. Where's Ruben going? Ruben uh, going for a jog, maybe. Keeping it warm. for hot dog tea. <laughs> the barbecue doing uh, a wonderful job. Potsy, the spiking Viking in the middle, just takes that out of there. Not in my house. Antonopoulos picks up the disc. Dowell on the mark. Puts a big flick up, oh, about a 10 meter gainer. Potsy's going, he puts it to him, but not in front. Peter Gardner able to come back and make the D. Gardner with the disc, Potsy on the mark. Gets his Aunt Dal across with the Blady OI flick. Moves it up into space, but not the man that he wanted to get to that space. That was James Yorston. James Yorston. Joel Pillar puts up the backhand. Julio not able to lay out. Ponzi stays in for the goal. 9-5. The pace of the game has not been the fastest. Again, the win is the obvious reasoning behind that. Uh, but yeah, a lot of zones, slowing it down, dumping, swinging, some uh, turnovers behind the cup. Or a fence. Here we go. Tim G with the disc, moves it on to Ken Shepard, fakes the backhand. Scott fakes the backhand again, puts it in the middle to Gus Keenan. That cup very quick to collapse and clamp down. Tex throws it right into the cup. Bit of a mishap there. Pete, uh, Cupcake gets it. Puts it to Tiger. Wants Cupcake. Gets Cupcake. Puts the flick up. Oh, right into traffic there. Easy D. There's that, cup, that Cupcake's extravagance where it used to. Oh, winds up for the big one, but man in front there. Looking to move it the other way. Ken Shepard does get the big backhand out. Bit of huck and hope here. Bit of roughhousing there on the field between Glover and Moore. All in good fun by the looks of things. Mark Evans gets a nice breakout. Tiger has a look in the middle. That's Hamish. That's Hamish for the disc. Thank you for that. Not Tiger. Jimmy Todd Hill fakes the backhand. Foul called. Thank you, Ruben Berg. He is, Rubens is quick on it. He is quick on it. And just finished the last bite of the hot dog, too. Well involved in the game. Hot dog, rather, snag, I should be saying around here. Yes, it is snag. <laughs> Put some snags on the bobby. Here we go. Moves up to Mark Evans. Puts a big backhand up. Gav Moore on the chase. Looks good. That's, oh my goodness, that was a goal to be had. Drop, not the one you want to drop in the big game, but that's the way it goes. Pillage has a chance to capitalize. Big throw through the middle, lots of space, but a bobble there too. An unfortunate string of events here. This is a men's open national final. We got a big floaty hammer. We got three underneath. Two blue get a hand on it for the D. Hey, Stefan. It's Stefan, actually, but yes. We got another one. Let's talk here, Daniel. What do you, oh, no. Yes, Daniel. 
Are we still watching the men's final? This or is, is, or has this suddenly become the 16 15 playoff? This is the men's final, but it looks quite similar to what was happening on uh, Field 11 not long ago for this, uh, this last point. We'll see who cleans it up quicker and takes uh, takes something out of it. Oh, certainly not plunder. Jimmy Todd Hill with another drop for this string of turnovers. Cupcake reads it well, gets the D, wants to hug. Hux way past Gav Moore. I thought there might have been a foul call. This is getting uh, interesting. The crowd roaring up here. Some interesting choices all over the field, but it is all about field possession right now, or uh, position rather, where they want to be, and both teams are happier to play D in the opposing end, it seems. Gets the backhand around, Tex has a look, fakes the backhand through the middle, looking on the flick side, moves it to his man in the corner. Flick through the Tim G, past the laying out cupcake. Angus Keenan with the disc. Wants to move it up the line. Collapse on Tex, gets it through to Kenny Shepard. Beautiful throw, oh, it just falls short. Glover not able to get down quick enough. The wind is playing some awful tricks on this disc and making it look like, uh, like it's not the quality ultimate. It, it most certainly is. It looked like Glover was trying to milk that in. Maybe looking for an extra yard or two instead of just getting the catch, keeping the drive alive. But, is it going back to a thrower, is that right? A call on the play, uh, Rubenberg, what, is, what does the... Travel turnover. Travel. Travel on the travel. previous throw. I, uh, I thought the travel was similar to basketball, and it is, and it is but uh, his next motions, I had no idea, so throw before. Here we go, tax with the disc. Ken Shepard fakes the big backhand. Now really wants that big backhand. It really wants that big backhand. Gets that big backhand out to Gav Moore, who throws it the other direction. Number 12 with the disc. Pops it through to Mark Evans, puts a big one up. He's got a man, it's a beautiful throw. That counts for plunder, big spike. I think he hit Cupcake on the spike. He caught it. We got to go. <laughs> Exceptional job uh, the Alti TV people are doing here. Uh, set up, they've got the new tower they've got, uh, getting above bird's eye view, multiple cameras in the big games, getting uh, some player information and a whole bunch of people able to help them out on the microphones as well, and it's uh, a wonderful service. Everybody's loving the Alti TV. Big pickup. Pete Lidicott keeps the drive alive. Don't want that first possession turnover. That would have been a heartbreaker. Tex with the disc, zone applied. Gets it to Ant Dowell, back to Tex. Gets that backhand over to Pete Gardner. Pete Gardner moves it up to Glover. Glover, oh, taken out, but not calling anything, playing on. That's some good, tough ultimate. Keenan dumps it to Lidicott. Lidicott fakes the backhand. Socks pulled high. Fakes the backhand, gets the backhand. Pops it up to Tex, Tex to Glover. Glover fakes the backhand. Look in zone, squeezing in a bit. Count goes up, Lidicke gets it in the same spot. Puts a, oh, a quick hammer. Did he pick that up? Did he really pick that up? I thought that if, I might have seen some grass, but nobody seems to be contesting. That was a bullet of a hammer through a very tight space. Beautiful catch, way to keep that up. We'll definitely be getting a replay of that one. That looked like it slid for about three meters it before It did, from it. our angle, looked like it touched the ground, but uh, nobody seemed to contest, and uh, hopefully the camera doesn't lie, and we've, they've got that right on the field. There it comes. Edsonopoulos receives the pull, puts it to Evans. He looks for the big backhand. It's come out a few times nicely. Puts a flick across to Joel Pillar, takes it with two hands high. Forwards it on Edsonopoulos, picks it up at the knees there. Puts a big flick up right away. Here we go, we got a chase in the end zone. Unfortunately, not enough behind that one for his receivers to catch up. 
Alec and Potsy hot, in, hot on the chase. Here comes Pillage. Big huck the other way. Julio's there, Evans there, but the disc is out of bounds. Uh, by the looks of things, it was very close to the release point when it went out of bounds. So, should be a short look to the end zone for Plunder on this possession. Right at the cone. Throws the goal, just like that. Almost too easy. Joel Pillar tries to put a hole in the earth, spiking that one. Too easy, I felt that. Sporting Team Box, Atletico United coming onto the field. Sporting Team I Box coming in with uh, some snake vibe, maybe. I'm not quite sure what they've got going on with those hands in the air, but exuding some confidence indeed. Ready for their final against Honey coming up next. Uh, a local derby in the ladies final as well. We got Sydney, Sydney club final for the boys. Colony, Colony here. And next up, we got Honey versus Sporting Team Box Atletico United, I believe. I think that uh, Hussey might be the, the mother duck and all the room ducks behind it. Potentially, mother duck, little ducklings following in stride. Cupcake puts a pull up. Let's go, guys. Come on, come on. Okay. Puts it up, has a look at the backhand. Pops it forward, nice and easy to Shepard. Oh, puts it to Gus Keenan, but Gav Moore gets out and in front. Putting the body on the line, nice layout. Mark Evans having a look. Puts it across to Jimmy Todd Hill. Beautiful throw over a defender. Jimmy Todd Hill has a look now. Gets it centered, number three with the disc. Looking for that break mark, now settles for the flick to Cupcake, coming in fast, well handled, big hammer across the other way, oh! Just past Timmy Todd Hill, outstretched. Uh, we've got another delivery from the mayor of Slamtown, the new mayor, Kevin Stallman, had an excellent campaign here in Newcastle, the, uh, the party champions by far. Here we go, Pete Gardner with the disc. Has a look, gets it. There's a block on it, foul called on the block. Nobody's ever gonna agree with each other on those kind of calls. Here we go, Gardner puts a flick up. 11 has it, puts a big flick up the other way. Gus Keenan on the chase, does he stay in? He does, not in the end zone yet. Prances back, Gav Moore on the mark, puts it up, lays out, but Tex, very calm and cool, stays on his feet, gets the goal, pillage, hanging around, hanging around. 8-11. Steve, Julio puts the pull up. We got another brick, we're building the house. Here we go, Tiger with the disc. Put, fakes the backhand, goes back into the corner to Pillar with the flick. Pillar puts up the big flick, Potsy there. Ooh, some contact early, hands up, palms facing the sky. What could this mean? What could this mean? I don't either, a like, couple clipped heels on the way there and a tumble and uh, but that, that's always grounds for a conversation. Ruben sweeping the floor means retracted foul. Uh, excellent arm sweeping action by the Berg. Textbook mechanics. Oh, Kenny, he really wanted that backhand. Yorston with the disc. Yorston looking to flick it out. No, now the backhand. Gets the backhand off to Ken Shepard. Ken Shepard gets a, a great cut out of his handler and a, a reciprocating good cut from Lidicott filling in in the handler role there. This cuts are coming, gets one out. Ken Shepard in a hucking position. Isn't it always a hucking position? Tex with the disc. Having a look, oh, Shepard up line for him. Back to Lidicott again, helping out on the handle. Puts a big one up to Ken Shepard, just a bit too quick, almost cut his head off. Everybody likes a good night at a mansion. Antonopoulos with the disc. Potsy cutting deep early. Mark Evans with the disc. Potsy back under. 
Mark Evans still looking to get rid of it. Gets rid of it to Pillar. Back to Mark Evans. Fakes the big backhand. Puts it out to Potsy. Nice breaking action. Potsy puts one up to Callan. He's there. Oh, not quite there. A little bit of movement on the disc. Callan not able to get the perfect read, but it was at just a bit in front. Here we go, disc is in. Ken Shepard puts up a zinger right away. Julio's there, reads it well, has a little roll. Fakes the backhand, puts one in the middle of the text. Back to Julio, back to Tex. The two of them take some precious yards. Oh, picked up a poor throw. But behind every, well, behind, not behind every poor throw is an exceptional catch. But usually on the other side of every exceptional catch, you do find a poor to mediocre throw. <laughs> There we go, pulls up, Julio. Wind gets a hold of that one, rolls, a little bit of a friendly roll, but now well out of bounds. He's uh, a handy player, I mean, he's got throws, he works hard, he gets off his feet, he can get you some Ds, and uh, and you'd, li you'd like to have him. He matches up well against just about anybody out there. Uh, we just heard a beep of a horn. I'm not sure if that's the end of the game. Uh, but yet, meanwhile, Disc goes up and gets away. Raw time cap has been retracted by Rubenberg. Uh, we might try and uh, get in his ear. How much time is there, Ruben? Unofficial clock says one minute. Mar oh, big flick goes up. Gav Moore there. Will he read it? He does. Oh, just gets over top at 19 on the defense. That could be Antonopoulos with the goal. The deal is sealed. If it's not over now, it will be soon, and that black team looks to have it all over but the crying. Mark Evans with the disc. Ready to pull, there it goes. Backhand, looks like this one's gonna stay in. Kenny Shepard gets under it, receives it. Fakes a backhand. Plunder with the zone set. Still nothing official on the clock, but you gotta think these points could be the end soon. Oh, uh, and Dow gets a great backhand out to Tim G on the other side. That's a zone breaker potentially, but they have a chance to reset. 11 with the disc, I believe this is Louie. Uh, and I should know that name. 23 moves it on to uh, Nathan Stacy, 11. Thank you very much. Oh, what a catch. Steady hands. Gets it to Glover. Great catch by Ant Dowell. Tricky one coming down with his bent arm. Kind of just fell into his hand, but sticky fingers. Managed to hang on. So uh, it ain't over yet. That fat lady is warming up. There goes the horn. Finish this point and then add one. Julio puts the disc up. Plunder, Antonopoulos steady as this game, such receive. Moves it to Tiger. Tiger set, sets up for the big one, doesn't take it. Puts a flick out to Joel Pillar. Collected easily, flicks it center to Mark Evans. Has a look at the deep right away, as does Colony Team 10. So a lot of good throwers, of course, they're gonna want that option. Gets it on to Tiger on the other side of the field. Still no mark on him, lots all the time in the world to throw. Spielman went deep for it, looking for it, but moves it to Pillar, the easy option. Puts it on to Mark Evans, but the wind gets that one, pushes it to the ground. Ken Shepard picks the disc up. Fakes the big one, Lidikit gets it in the middle to Julio. Julio fakes the backhand, puts the flick up to, and Dowell is not able to hang on, just bouncing it off the ground in front of him there. Great effort at it. Oh, Mark Evans falling down, getting a big flick out. Turned over to Pete Gardner. Julio gets it, moves it to, to Kenny Shepard. Has a little flick at the camera. Puts a backhand break mark out. What's that? We are seeing some man. It is a, it is a uh, quicker game right now. More excitement in the air. Oh, a break, whoa, thank you, thank you. Ken Shepard to thank the receiver if that play was allowed to exist. But we've got a contested stall count. Thank you, Rubenberg, once again, clarifying the, the uh, 
in terms of engagement on the field. So it's going to be coming in at nine, and he's going to be wanting to get rid of it immediately. Disc is in, gets rid of it immediately. Yorston with the disc. Yorston fakes the backhand, gives the backhand to Julio. Oh, able to catch his bobble and puts up a flick. Not afraid, but again falls just a bit short. Those last two OI flicks of Julio's have not come off uh, to perfection. Antonopoulos picks the disc up. Oh, he's got a deep man. He's got an in man. Kalen gets it to Pillar. Kalen, sorry, Pillar with the disc, fakes the back, or gets the backhand back to the center. Tiger moves it up to Evans, just in front, big flick. Not what he wanted on that, but it is getting distance. He does have Ponzi deep, and it looks like he's read it well. Oh, and a second effort by Alec, almost to bail him out, but it was not meant to be on that time around. Kenny Shepard picks it up, looking to go the other way. Julio. Did you see Alec there? He came from about 10 meters of drift to Potsy and overtook him. Yeah, he's uh, maybe got a few wheels left. Another big one the other way. Antonopoulos in front, but it gets over top. Gardner with the goal. It is not over yet. Game to 13. Gus Keenan getting the troops fired up for pillage. Oh, only two points, quite inspiring talk there. Pillage certainly seeing some light in this game. One point game, Julio puts the disc up, OI backhand. Plunder with a chance to win the game on this possession if they can cash in. Pillage, a chance to extend it to a Unifers point game. Tiger faking hard. Evans cuts up line for him. Gets Evans in the middle of the field. Puts the flick up. He is not afraid to throw that. He's got Jimmy Todd Hill. Gus Keenan's there. Lots of hands on the disc. Everything looks clean. Pillage has a chance. Ken Shepard steps up and sticks it to Pete Gardner over Tiger. Oh, Tiger reads it magnificently. Oh, a foul call. Tiger came back and got a great touch at that disc. Crowd not happy, understandably so. This is Pete Gardner. This is Pete Gardner. Uh, looked, looked from our perspective like a brilliant defensive player coming back at the disc. Uh, I thought it was Pete Gardner's the whole way, the way the, the disc looked in the air. It looked high enough that it was going to get over Tiger. But when he managed to uh, outrun it to the right and come back, call, is, call has been retracted. Sensational call. Uh, and looks like Plunder's about ready to start an offense. Tap di disc in by Cupcake, and people are walking around. Evans picking the disc up. Antonopoulos and Cupcake to flank. Horizontal stack, maybe. And here we go. Pillar's got the first touch. Fakes the backhand. Looks on the open side for the flick. Fakes the backhand. Gets the break. Evans has a big shot. Puts it up. Gav Moore down there. Gets over top. Oh, bobbles. Catches. Cupcake. Wins the game. Plunder are your national champions. Colony was going to win it every which way. We knew that, but it's Colony Plunder, Colony Black as far as this final goes. It is all over but the crying. The fat lady has sung, and Colony Plunder are your national champions for 2012 here in Newcastle. It's a great story for some of the players on uh, that Colony side. Many of them haven't won a national championship, most notably Joel Peller and Alec Deslanders from South Australia. That case is another one. Yeah. Excellent for them to get their, uh, their their first win and a couple of decorated men out there too with uh, their multiple, who knows how many Jonathan Potts has. Uh, I don't know, it's somewhere around 15, I think. Yeah, he's, uh, he's collected he's a few. three or four just because he turned up. <laughs> collected a few in his day, but always the one that's happening now has got to be the sweetest. So I guess they'll circle up have a little chat to each other and then uh, see each other again next week. 
they're gonna have this rematch at training. I don't know if the trophy will be on the line that time. I doubt it somehow. <laughs> I, I think there'll be a lot of breaking going on at training from now on. Well, thank you, Stefan, for commentating the final for us. Thank you very much. I uh, I might be around for a bit of the ladies' final. It uh, all depends on my ability to get a cab to the airport and not miss a flight, but uh, should be able to help out for what I can. Thanks, Steph. So this has been the men's final here from the Australian Ultimate Championships in 2012. We have the winner, Colony Plunder in black, taking over Colony Pillage. 13-11 in a, a hard-fought match. Oh. We've been on to TV, thank you, and goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y